Uh, she took on a rather offensive racist tone, a lot of messages about genocide and the Holocaust. Needless to say, Microsoft has now taken Tay offline after less than 24 hours. Uh, they said that they would be making some adjustments to her. Can big tech really handle AI? It's been a wild week in AI, and we have some latest controversy involving Google's parent company, Alphabet. Meanwhile, Google AI made a mistake, and OpenAI had a tough and rocky time. What really went down in the AI world? First, let's dive into the drama. Alphabet tried to fix racial biases in its AI, but things went horribly wrong. Their AI model, Gemini, messed up big time, leading the company to shut down its image creation feature and apologize. This blunder caused Alphabet's stock to drop by more than 4%, and some people are even calling for CEO Sundar Pichai to step down. So, what went wrong? The fiasco shows just how tricky it is for big tech companies like Alphabet to manage public relations when dealing with AI issues. Back in 2022, Google was caught off guard when OpenAI launched ChatGPT before Google could release its own chatbot, Lambda. Google claimed it was being responsible with AI, suggesting that OpenAI and Microsoft were moving too fast without enough caution. Despite this, Google eventually started rolling out its own AI products, promising to be bold and responsible. But with this recent failure, can Alphabet and other tech giants truly balance innovation with responsibility? Google likes to say it's very responsible with its AI technology. This means it has to work harder than other companies to make sure its AI products are safe. But is this a good idea? We'll see why it might not be. Other companies haven't tried as hard to fix the problem of biased AI. AI models trained on old, biased data often produce biased results. For example, there is evidence that Midjourney and OpenAI's DALL-E make racially biased images. But this hasn't hurt their popularity or investor confidence much. Google, being Google, wanted to solve this problem. They instructed their AI model, Gemini, to always create images of people from diverse backgrounds. It was also told to refuse prompts asking for images of only white people. However, this move was seen differently by different people. Some saw it as responsible, while others thought it was too politically correct. This was a big issue because many people already think Google is too left-wing. Elon Musk, who wants his Grok chatbot to be the opposite of woke, made sure everyone knew about Gemini's problems, especially when it failed to make accurate historical images of ancient Rome or Vikings. Gemini's troubles show that today's AI models have weaknesses and our methods to control them aren't perfect. One method, called Metaprompts, involves adding hidden instructions to user prompts. This seems to be what Google did with Gemini, but it's a flawed method because AI models, even though they have tons of data, still don't understand concepts well or have common sense. Wouldn't it be great if you could just tell an AI model, don't be racist, and it would understand exactly what you mean? If the model wasn't sure, it could ask you for more details. That's what a good human assistant would do, but today's AI models can't do this. Google tried to fix this with their AI model Gemini. They used hidden instructions called metaprompts and trained the model to only make images with diverse people. But this caused problems. The model struggled to make non-diverse images, even when it was appropriate. The technology is still weak. There is no perfect way to create an AI that makes everyone happy all the time. Meredith Broussard, a professor at New York University, explained that it's hard to avoid all biases in tech. The engineers behind Gemini should have known that people would test the limits of the model. Users would ask for images of historical settings that weren't diverse or try to trick the model into making images of only white or black people. This shows a failure not just of AI but also of human planning. The main issue is whether a general purpose AI conversation agent can really work well. AI ethicists like Meredith Broussard think it's hard to make such general tools ethical because evaluating them is tough. They suggest making smaller AI models for specific tasks. Given that large models are here to stay, we need to find ways to help them understand human intentions better. It's impossible to create prompts that cover every scenario. There's a big divide between researchers focused on responsible AI and those working on AI safety. This split is unfortunate. Responsible AI experts worry about AI being biased, while AI safety experts fear AI might become dangerous and want it to understand human instructions well. Interestingly, AI safety work can also help create better safeguards to make AI less biased without being overly politically correct. This is the kind of balanced AI that many companies want. It would likely make shareholders, like those at Alphabet, much happier. There's more AI news to share. In other news, Microsoft has made a big move by signing a long-term partnership with the Paris-based AI startup Mistral, including an undisclosed investment. Microsoft has partnered with Mistral to create AI models specifically for European governments. These governments want models that work well in European languages and don't rely too much on US tech. 
In other news, actor and director Tyler Perry has paused his studio expansion in Atlanta after seeing OpenAI's Sora videos. Perry was planning an $800 million project, but is now rethinking it because of the impressive capabilities of AI. He mentioned that AI could allow filmmakers to create scenes in any location just by typing a description, which might lead to significant job losses in the entertainment industry. Alibaba is leading a $1 billion funding round for Moonshot AI, a young startup valued at $2.5 billion. Moonshot, known for its Kimi chatbot, is at the forefront of Chinese companies developing AI models. Other investors include Meituan's investment arm Longzi and Hongshan, formerly known as Sequoia China. Additionally, Magic, an AI coding startup, has secured $100 million from former GitHub CEO Nat Friedman and Daniel Gross. Magic has made significant progress with a 3.5 million token context window, three times larger than Google's new Gemini 1.5 Pro model. These developments show how AI is rapidly advancing and influencing various industries. Keep an eye out for more updates as the landscape continues to evolve. Figure 8, a startup focused on creating humanoid robots, has raised $675 million from investors like Jeff Bezos, NVIDIA, and OpenAI. This funding round values the company at $2 billion. Figure 8 is one of several companies, including Elon Musk's Tesla, working on robots to handle dangerous and repetitive industrial tasks. Stability AI has released Stable Diffusion 3, the latest version of its popular open-source text-to-image generator. This new version uses an AI architecture similar to the one OpenAI used for Sora. The updated model performs better with multi-subject prompts and typography. These advancements highlight the fast-paced changes in the AI industry. With significant investments and innovations continuing to shape the future, stay tuned for more exciting updates. Everyone is excited about improving transformer-based AI models. These models, which power the current AI revolution, could soon get better at planning. This improvement could turn today's content-generating AI into true personal assistance. And this will be capable of carrying out tasks online and helping with strategic planning and complex problem-solving. This potential is why there's so much buzz around Magic AI and the rumored Q-Star model from OpenAI, which can handle basic math reasoning better than current AI chatbots. Researchers at Meta's FAIR AI Lab have made a breakthrough by combining a transformer-based model with one of the best planning AI models, known as A-Star. This new technique, called Searchformer, uses a transformer to predict the best search steps for A-Star. This reduces the number of searches A-Star needs to find the best plan by about a third which helps overcome the model's need for a lot of computing power. Researchers are sounding the alarm that companies like OpenAI and Google are running out of human-written training data for their AI models. Scaling up models has been the key to expanding their capabilities and improving their output quality. Without enough data, this growth might slow down or stop. Do you think AI is a bane or a boom? Share your views with us in the comment section. Also, hit the like and subscribe button to watch such content. See you all in the next one.